because we've got a pretty diverse audience today, we are actually going to uh, start with just a brief overview of, of Oracle Policy Automation Cloud Service, uh, where it fits into the Oracle portfolio, and then we'll dive into the new features that are in February 2014, and then give you links and contacts for further information. Uh, any questions that you have as we go through, please do ask them through the chat window in the WebEx console. Uh, we'll uh, hopefully have plenty of time for questions at the end, and we'll certainly do our best to answer any questions that you have uh, at that point. So don't be shy. Um, all right, well, to get us going, the uh, you know, Oracle has a very comprehensive offering in our customer experience portfolio covering all the different areas that you may need, uh, from marketing to commerce to managing your sales, leads and uh, process, through to the service side, throughout the customer engagement, and then obviously covering off the social aspects of interacting with your customers as well. And uh, our cloud portfolio mirrors this, uh, these same five pillars. So uh, we've got a comprehensive marketing cloud, commerce cloud, sales cloud, service cloud, and social cloud. And what we're talking about today is policy automation, which fits into Oracle's service cloud offering. Um, so we've got uh, you know, five pillars underneath the service cloud that we feel are extremely important to um, your all interactions with customers. And policy automation for us is a, is a strategic aspect of uh, managing those interactions as well. And we'll explain a bit more what we mean by that. So policy automation, providing adaptive guidance to customers, uh, personalization of interaction through forms, explaining decisions that you're making to them, uh, and then integrating across both the web self-service and the call center channels. Um, compliance management, making sure that you can cover off how all of your decisions are being traced back to source material. Um, report on how you're uh, changing your policies over time, auditable decisions, et cetera, et cetera. So this is a you know, comprehensive offering here with policy automation. I won't go through all of the, the details, but you'll see as we go through the demo today how comprehensive policy automation is, where it fits in, uh, and then we'll dive into the you know, specific new things for February as well. So just as a, by way of um, continuing to introduce the, the OPA cloud service, um, so this is really designed for agents and customers to interact directly with guidance experiences through personalized web-based advice and make sure that they're getting the right answers to things like, you know, um, can I apply for this, uh, this course of study? If so, will I get some uh, monetary assistance to study that course? Uh, maybe it's, you know, which is the best product that fits my needs? And this is enabled through the modeling experience we provide where the policy experts that understand those policies best can model them in Microsoft Office, in Microsoft Word, in Microsoft Excel, and do so in a very business-friendly way in tools that they're very comfortable with and uh, make it easy to develop those end-user interactive experiences um, without needing to be a developer or a programmer, uh, but still making sure they've got that uh, very clear understanding of the logic as the, uh, as the policies change and as they're updated. So that personalized guidance takes the form of uh, you know, these interactive interviews that you can drop into your right now experience or stand alone uh, to provide very clear, transparent, and personalized advice. So as the uh, questions are answered by the person who's interacting with that advice, uh, the subsequent questions are tailored based on their answers so you don't see irrelevant questions and you're more likely to reach an answer more quickly without needing to pick up the phone and, uh, and call a call center, which is a much more expensive interaction for people. And then at the end of that, you can provide documents that detail the reasons for those decisions in a very rich form. You can um, uh, save those along with the record of that interaction so that you've got a full audit trail and you can uh, help head off some of the questions you might have down the track uh, as customers query how they've been treated in particular situations. 
So one of the key advantages of all this is that you can really enable consistency across all your channels. So uh, whether you're coming in through self-service via the Right Now Customer Portal, whether you're interacting through the call center in the agent desktop, uh, whether you've got um, you know, specific guidance embedded within knowledge base answers, you can very easily guide people to those. And in fact, the possibilities are very, uh, you've know, got lots of flexibility around exactly how these experiences are embedded within your own website, within your own application. Um, we provide out of the box integrations with the Oracle Service Cloud via the Right Now CX portfolio, but um, you know, there's, there's a lot of flexibility in terms of where you surface this guidance. And you know the overall idea here is that uh, as the policies change, as your you know the rules regarding your business change, uh, as you make business decisions, as you have legislative changes coming through, uh, regulations that are updated, you can always keep those uh, those rules and regulations in sync with um, the decisions that you're making through the, uh, the the amazing tool that is policy modeling with. Uh, that we provide with, with Microsoft Office, and we'll see demos of that as we go through today. And this is this is what that tool looks like. So um, you're creating documents like those shown on the left that capture the logic, and uh, the policy modeling tool shown on the right is where you manage those documents, you manage the the screens and the interactions that will be surfaced on top of those rules, and you do so in a very business friendly way. So uh, you know the the idea of this cross-channel capability uh, hooked in closely with right now. Um, so we've got first-class understanding of the right now data model, and you can see that you can choose, you know, is this particular interaction going to be exposed through the customer portal? Is it going to be exposed through the contact center? Um, you know, with the uh, very uh, powerful benefits of delivering that consistency and accuracy across all channels, driving down training costs over all of your interactions. During, during massive benefits. So um, we're going to be very demo heavy today. Didn't want to spend too long on those introductory slides, um, but because as I said, we've got a fairly diverse audience, some people that will uh, be coming to policy automation for the first time. I want to just cover off that introductory material as well. Um, we're going to get a bit more into the meat of it now, and uh, I'm going to hand over to Fiona, who will show a, a demonstration of how to use policy automation interviews in the Right Now Customer Portal.